doing this gorilla style. Um, I, cause I wanted to get my unfiltered thoughts. Um, cats in the background, just wow. So I got my legend of the white dragon t-shirt on and I just watched the trailer. Like the trailer dropped a couple of minutes ago and, um, I supported this film on Kickstarter. I've been a longtime fan of bat in the sun and I think Aaron and his crew do really great work. Um, and uh, I've been excited for them to do something while inspired by certain IPs as its own thing. And following the production on Instagram, especially through JDF, has been a lot of fun. And while they've kept a lot of things under wraps, it's clear that there's a lot of passion in this project. And that alone was enough to get me excited. And I'm glad to see that there is a trailer and that the film has, is coming together really well. And I can't wait to get my Blu-ray copy so I can watch it. Um, so initial thoughts on the trailer after only seeing it once. I loved it. In short, I loved it. Um, I'm interested in seeing what is going on with Eric Reed. Why, um, why D David Ramsey blames him for whatever problems are going on in this world. Uh, cause it, apparently the white dragon was a former hero and I'm also super interested in dragon prime and his real world name is escaping me right now, but you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm excited to see this villain and his more of his backstory. You know, Aaron has said through, um, live chats that, this that dragon prime doesn't really see himself as a villain that he has his own motivations and i think that a lot of times well i mean super evil villains like skeletor are fun and everything i think that the more complicated ones like magneto that could be heroes in a certain way to certain people are more interesting and of course you got that like iconic shot of him playing like a piano um which is like a like a big villain move. Um, I think the only thing for me that I'm slightly worried about is like the, this AI that they have on their ship that the, the comedy that could either be hit or miss. Um, I mean, it made me laugh, but it, if it's too much, it, it could be a little cringy and maybe that's like the whole point. Because it seems like this film is going to deal with a lot of heavy themes. So maybe this will break a lot of the tension. That work can work in a lot of ways. But other than that, I'm excited by the cast. I see a lot of good character actors that I really love. Um, and I'm sure that there's, there's more that they didn't reveal. And I... I hope that this is successful so that way we can get, you know, spinoffs, sequels, and more other really fun stuff. Um, but if you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. Legends of the White Dragon from Bat in the Sun. Looks awesome.